lover, this is Heather from sisterwigs.com and this is a short and sweet color spotlight of the shaded champagne blonde color from Gabor on Fresh Chic. I am not wearing any makeup and that means no mascara, no eyeliner. I just washed and moisturized my face and then put this wig on and turned on the camera. Every once in a while I like to make videos without any makeup on because you know, it, people think I can pull off every single style and every single color, and honestly, it's just a matter of coordinating my outfits and my makeup to match what I'm wearing. In this case, I can only coordinate the outfit because I'm not wearing any makeup, and so I wore lots of warm tones because otherwise my naturally neutral cool complexion would look really awkward <laughs> in this particular very light, very gold blonde. And yeah, it's really gold. What you see? on camera is what you get. This is, I've been kind of calling it to my husband, Rod Stewart Blonde. It, it does, like, especially with this cut, like, I keep wanting to say, if you want my body. I just, I feel, I feel very much like Rod Stewart in this color and style combination. But you know what? Rod Stewart was kind of hot back in the day, so I'm not even offended by that. Anyway, light brown root on this. I should probably start talking about the color since this is a color spotlight video. Yes, light brown roots on this, which will make a lot of people happy because it's really subtle. But just so you know, the Gabor SS colors, okay? So Raquel Welch and Gabor, owned by the same company, and Raquel Welch, you know, their SS colors, shadow shades, dramatic gradient rooted colors for the most part. But in the Gabor line, that SS stands for soft shades because their rooting is softer. It's not a super dark gradient root, right? It's it's usually only about one shade darker. It's kind of like with Ellen Villa, same deal. They, they always make the, the rooting about a shade darker. So it's not a real dramatic root, it's just kind of dark. Same thing goes here for this shaded champagne color. The base color on this is that darker color, the 88. The 88 is a nice kind of like, almost like a honey blonde, so it's definitely got gold to it. And a 613 is like a baby toe head sort of French vanilla light blonde, but it's kind of like what would happen if you turned up the gold tint a little bit on a platinum. It's, it's also got gold to it, so gold in the roots, gold in the base, gold in the highlight, we got a gold blonde wig. <laughs> and that will make a lot of people really, really happy because it seems like almost all of the colors that have come out in the last two years that are rooted blondes are ashy, and that doesn't work for everybody. I have an easier time without makeup pulling off these kind of gold blondes, even though I, I will admit it's still kind of a stretch. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more at home in the brunette shades, but the ash blondes are very hard for me to pull off without makeup of some kind. I mean, at least some mascara or something because they just kind of wash me out. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think of this new champagne blonde? I mean, do you think you could pull this off without makeup? I mean, I would love to know. I mean, I, I feel like I'm on the edge. I'm kind of pulling it off, but I think if I were wearing something a little different, it probably would not work as well. I don't know, that's just my suspicion. I'm eager to hear what you guys think. We read all your comments, so please chat us up. If you have any questions about how to find your color though, the best place to go is support at sisterwigs.com. If you contact our customer support team, they can help you, they can send you images and videos and stuff, which is very difficult to do, and in fact, kind of impossible to do in YouTube comments. So if you want really detailed color advice, the best place to hit us up is where we're at, which is our help desk. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this helps you see what this color looks like. And the reason why I didn't do this one outside is because I live in Georgia, it is full sun today, and that will just make this look like a really big blur because the brighter the sun and the blonder the color, the more shine you get, the more reflective, and with synthetics, that just makes it impossible to see the color. So that's why we're shooting it indoors. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great night. Bye-bye, and make sure you subscribe. Bye.